sketch the graph of y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3. And again, I'm just going to get started explaining how we go from y equals 2 to the power of x to our destination graph, y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3. And now I'm just going to assume that you did watch our video explaining how to graph y equals 2 to the power of x. And that's on our website in case you haven't watched it yet. Um, okay, so starting with this, y equals 2 to the power of x. How do we get to y equals 2, 2 to the power of x plus 3? What does that do that will change this? Well, we're adding 3 to the x. And that's just going to actually shift every point on the y equals 2 to the power of x line to the left by 3 units. So for adding 3 to x, we're going to go left by 3 units. Seems kind of counterintuitive at first, right? We're adding y does it go to the left. But if we were to subtract, it would go to the right. So remember this. You're adding something to x. It's just going to go to the left. Um, OK, so later I'll show you why. Uh, so just starting with this point say 2 comma 4. 2 comma 4 is going to become negative 1 comma 4 because we're just taking away 3 from the 2. So it becomes this point right here. Great. This point, which is 1 comma 2, will become negative 2 comma 2. This point, 0 comma 1, will become negative 3 comma 1, and so on. And now it's taking shape. Let me draw a nice graph here with my software. It'll look funny at first, but then it will look ho good, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this is y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3. And why does it go to the left exactly? Let me just show you one point and it will make sense. So Let's take this guy over here. Originally, on y equals 2 to the power of x, to get the 4 for y, we needed to plug in a 2 for x, right? So y equals 2 to the power of 2 is 4, plain and simple. But to get the 4 for this function, y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3, we still need to have a 2 to the power of 2. And the only way we're going to get a 2 from this, from the x plus 3, is by plugging in negative 1 for x. So 2 to the power of negative 1 plus 3, that becomes 2. So 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So that is why we basically shift the function to the left by 3 units. That's it. So let me finally label our graph. Oh, actually, I already did right here. There we go. Y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3. That's it.